how to create record in salesforce for new stripe payments automatically so here i am going to integrate stripe and salesforce in such a way that whenever customer makes a payment via stripe payment gateway it will be created as a record automatically into our salesforce application so if you also want to integrate stripe and salesforce come with me and i will show you how you can automate this process step by step All right so this is the dashboard of Stripe payment gateway and Salesforce and I'm going to integrate these two with the Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software and here you can notice I am an existing user so here I am already logged in you can also create your free account in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard simply click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm going to provide the name something like create record in salesforce okay it should be record in salesforce from stripe payments okay it should be stripe payments okay and you can also provide any random name now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action so here trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever any new payment is received via stripe payment gateway application then automatically create a record in salesforce application all right so i have selected stripe and salesforce in this trigger and action window all right where is salesforce all right so i have selected now i'm going to connect these two applications with the pabli connect to one by one okay so firstly it is asking for the trigger event so let me select the same so i want that whenever the new charge succeeded you can also read the instructions that new charge means when someone's credit card is charged okay so i have selected the same and after selecting this trigger event here you can see it has provided me a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so read these instructions carefully follow these instructions carefully firstly copy this webhook url go back to your stripe payment gateway dashboard and and currently i am working into the testing mode so that is why the this test mode is enabled okay now click on this developer section and then you will notice an option of webhooks okay and here exactly we will add an endpoint okay so in this endpoint url only we will have to paste the same webhook url asking for the description which is optional so i will leave it blank asking for the event so to select okay so i am going to select this charge dot succeeded because it it is actually mentioned inside public connect dashboard okay you can see choose charge dot succeeded from the select events drop down okay so i have selected the same let me click on this add events button and then i am going to finally add this end point and this end point will be added into my stripe payment gateway dashboard now when you will come back here you can notice that it is waiting for the webhook response okay and it is asking that log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means making of a new charge into the stripe payment gateway dashboard so that is why i am going to open some random product and then i am going to make a dummy payment for this product in front of you and you will notice that the details of that payment will be received via pabli connect All right so this is the payment link let me open that now i will provide some random some dummy details All right, so I have provided the email address as demo at the rate publicitudes dot com. Here I have also provided a dummy phone number, asking for the card details. So again, I will use this testing card details provided via Stripe payment gateway only. Okay, and these card details were already saved, so I have selected the same. Okay, so I have provided all the details now. I have clicked on that subscribe button, and you will notice as soon as the payment is successful here, the details of that payment will be. 
received via Pabli Connect and here you can see that the response is received. Let me show you the details one by one. Alright, so here we have the type as charge succeeded. Let me show you other details as well. Alright, so here we have the state. Here we have the PIN code, the email address, the name of the person. We even have the city, the state, every detail we have here. Okay, so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in between Pabli Connect and Stripe Payment Gateway is working absolutely fine. Now I am going to send this data to Salesforce application and then I'm going to create a record here. Okay, you can also read the instruction that it will create a new record to the specified Salesforce object that is contact or lead or etc. Okay, so let me first click on connect, click on add a new connection and click on connect with the Salesforce. And since I am already logged in into my Salesforce account, so that is why instead of asking me the credentials, it will ask me for the permission only. All right. So I have provided the permission. I have clicked on allow and here you can see the authorization is successful and my Salesforce account will be connected with the Pabli Connect. Now the very first thing it is asking to select is the Salesforce object. Okay, so let's say you want to create a new lead. So in that case, you can select a lead. In case you want to select a contact, in that case, you, you can go with this contact only. So how about I select this particular Salesforce object? Okay, so assume that I would like to create a contact from all the Stripe payments. Okay, so that is why I have selected the same. And this contact and lead action event are also provided separately here you can notice we have this create contact and create lead op option separately okay so i have provided the salesforce object and now i'm going to provide only the required the important details which are actually required for creating a contact okay so the first name and last name is required and don't worry i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here i'm going to map this data and mapping is very simple you just need to click on this particular field and and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me search for the name of the person all right so here we have the demo customer the full name of the person we do not have the last name and first name separately okay so here i would like to give you a suggestion when you are collecting the payments from your customer make sure that you create individual field for the first name and last name in that case when you will capture this data inside your public connect dashboard you will receive receive the first name and last name data individually separately and then you can individually map the last name and the first name of the customer here okay but currently i have the full name only so i can do one more thing before the salesforce application i am going to apply one more application basically one more action step and here i will search for the text formatter okay let me search for the same and here with this text formatter i am going to split my text basically i am going to split the first name and the last name okay simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately now it is asking that what text you would like to split okay so again i'll click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me map this particular name basically the full name now it is asking that what should be the separator value basically via which particular value you would like to separate the data okay so i want to separate the data with the help of space okay so that is why i have copied this syntax and i want all the segment okay and as soon as i'll click on this button you will notice that i will receive this demo and customer separately here you can see i have this demo as well as the customer and now I can easily map this first name and last name individually into my Salesforce account. But when I will click on this particular field, you will notice that the recent data is not visible here. So either you will have to refresh your automation. But in that case, your step will get removed because it is not saved currently. So you can also rebuild this connection. And this is how your automation will be refreshed and you will be able to access the new data, the recent data also here. All right. And here you can see it is connected once again and when i will click on this particular field you will notice that we can actually access the recent data also let me first map the last name then i will map the first name also and then i'm going to provide only the important details which i actually have into my previous step okay so i have the city so how about we map the city here that is bhopal that was bhopal all right so i have mapped the same asking for the state so let me 
search for the state as well and you must be thinking that what is this mapping so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will replace automatically when this automation will work in real time and whatever the details i will provide here manually that detail will remain same okay i am repeating this again these details will be replaced automatically because i am mapping this data now the important field left is the email id all right so let me map the same i can search for the email address with the help of this at the rate and i think i have provided all the necessary details how about i click on this button save and send test request directly and you will notice that a new customer will be created basically a new contact will be created into our salesforce dashboard but before that i'll have to wait for that response to receive and here you can see the response is received which is actually positive let me refresh my salesforce application and here you can see the same customer has been created basically the same person has been created as a contact into our salesforce application and here you can notice we have the same email address that is demo at the rate pablitude.com we have the same address also we have the same details basically the first name the last name the salutation every detail is here okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in salesforce and pabli connect is also working at absolutely fine okay so if you also want to automate this process entirely you just need to create this automation inside pabli connect once after that what will happen every time a new customer will make a payment the details will be collected via pabli connect instantly and then those details will be created as a contact into our salesforce application automatically and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach this link into my description box you just need to click on this link sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video